long time ago, when the earth was green. There are more kinds of animals than you've ever seen. They'd run around and play while the earth was being born. But the loveliest of all was the unicorn. The green alligators and long neck geese. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born. The loveliest of all was the unicorn. I'm going to an interview. Welcome to Eccentric Television. I'm Anson John Brew, and today's guest is James Thurber, author of the short story, The Unicorn in the Garden. Let's give a big round of applause to James Thurber. Okay, would you like some tea, Mr. Thurber? Yes, please, that sounds great. Thank you. I truly enjoyed your short story, The Unicorn in the Garden. Can you tell me a little bit more about your two main characters? Well, um, to begin with, none of them are named. Um, it's just the husband and the wife. Um, the husband, on the outside, seems very calm and level-headed, although with the fact that he is the unicorn, level-headed in the sense that he's very calm and doesn't overreact or anything, but the more the story goes on, you realize how actual, like, cold and devious he is underneath. The wife is a very one-natured person. There's nothing hidden underneath. She's a very closed-minded woman. And she's very eccentric. Eccentric television. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. But, um, she's just, she doesn't really take things more in depth than what they are. She doesn't take the chance to go out and look to see if there actually is a unicorn. She's just very to the point what she knows is what she knows and nothing's going to change that. There are some very key symbols in this um, particularly short story that I really didn't get at first. I had to read it a couple of times. Can you explain those for our viewers? Well, first off, there's the unicorn, which is probably the most obvious one. Um, it actually represents sanity versus insanity and what defines both because to the husband, it was very natural to see a unicorn. Well, of course, unnatural in the essence is the unicorn, but to him, it, it wasn't was, a big deal. It was there. Yeah, so it he was had to there. In it, yes. And yes, so he felt sane. Now, to the wife, he was insane. But in the end, you see that the wife is the one who is declared insane. So it leaves the reader to struggle with the fact of what is insanity, what is sanity, what defines each, and what separates them. Um, another one that people might overlook at first, you might have overlooked, I don't know, um, is the relationship between the two. The um, husband kind of represents youth and imagination with the fact that he's willing to believe that there is a unicorn out there because he saw it and he's, a mat or he's willing to just take it all in even though from his childhood I'm sure he knew unicorns supposedly don't exist. Now, the wife represents adulthood and reality and realism with the fact that she is unable to see that, well not see, but believe that there's a unicorn out there. There is no doubt in her mind that her husband is going crazy. There's no way. Her imagination cannot expand. And so there's a differentiation between the two with the relationship. And then there's the straight jacket, which is kind of a small one, but still there. Um, it actually represents the confines of society and how whatever society says and what, however society sets things, it's kind of how things are supposed to run, and when something differentiates from that, as in a woman declaring that her husband saw a unicorn, it kind of disrupts that, and then they're declared insane or just different in a way that needs to be restricted and confined. And so you kind of see that with the fact that the two are able to switch so quickly from who is the same one and who is the insane one. Now I've heard they're making this into a movie. Well, yes, they are. Now, when you were writing this, how did you picture all of these characters being played out on the big screen? Whoa. No, no, over here. Once upon a sunny morning, a man who sat in a breakfast nook 
looked up from his food to see a white unicorn with a golden horn in the garden. There's the unicorn in the garden. The unicorn is a mythical beast. in the middle of the forehead. Then it's the last straw. Hello, please. Hurry and bring a straight jacket. Did you tell your wife you saw a unicorn? Unicorn's a mythical beast. That's all I needed to know. Take her away. I'm sorry, sir, but your wife is 
crazy as a jaybird. Dancing on rainbow 